What I love about using any type of collaborative annotation is it really, I believe, equitizes the student voice. So whether we are in person in the classroom or on Zoom Live, you know, there's always going to be the three loudest students. And we have all been teaching a very long time and we know all of the pedagogical moves to make sure that we have equitable discussions and we have wait time and we do small groups. But the, the truth of the matter is, and I was like this growing up, it can be very hard for, for students, especially learning another language to speak up um, in person or on Zoom on the spot when you ask them something about a reading. It can also, um, with um, language learning, um, a long time ago, I learned German, so I just really remember this. What we think is enough wait time is never enough wait time. So when you ask a question, what do you think about this reading? Or what's, you know, what's your golden line? I do that as well. And then the three, you know, quickest students are ready. And then the other ones are like still trying to figure out exactly what is the question, right? And processing that. So on Hypothesis or on any collaborative annotation tool online, students have the time and the space to read carefully, to prepare what they want to say. And sometimes the quietest voice in the classroom is the, is the loudest online and you get to hear everybody's voice. Everyone has the space to do it in an equitable way. And I feel like that's the best way for student interaction.